Someone please come in here and get Coonset Michelle again. I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came to, to read. read. All right, so make sure that you guys are continuing to go to ForTheCulturePodcast.com. We may have a little surprise for you this week. That's all I want to say. Um, and our previous episode was released on there, so just go ahead and listen to it. Also, Patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. This is a part of my Halloween costume, okay? So I want to see if you guys will be able to guess it correctly. If you, I, I haven't released a picture yet of my full Halloween costume. If you want to see it first, go to Patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. It will be on there first and on the rest of my social media, Adrian Expression on everything, Instagram, Twitter. It'll be on the rest of my uh, social media later on, but if you do want to see it first, head on over to Patreon.com. I'm looking forward to your guesses and my comments about what you think I'm going to be for Halloween based off of this piece. Alright, so I wanted to start with a bang, literally, uh, and talk about DJ Envy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Apparently, DJ Envy was sending some cute-ass Snapchat messages, girl! He was sending some Snapchat messages and the girl was talking about using a 9.5 inch dildo on his backside, on his rear end. You, you hear what I'm saying? Now, as somebody who has experienced things like that, as somebody who's well versed, <laughs> Somebody who is, as I said, well versed in these types of activities, a 9.5 inch deal, that is nothing to be playing around with, sweetheart. That's nothing to uh, talk lightly of. I'm going to say right now, if DJ Envy is out here, you know, pogo sticking on a 9.5, sweetheart, I mean, he, where is his Medal of Honor? Okay, where is his purple heart sis? Because he's really going to tell, he's doing what needs to be done if we're talking about a 9.5 inch peen. A 9 point girl, the only thing that your ass is doing with a 9.5 inch peen uh, with me is twirling it around in front of my face. It's not entering me, it's not, don't even try and bring it up in conversation. But apparently, he's out here, I mean, that's what the tea was, that the Snapchat tea, and then he went on to uh, the Breakfast Club acting like shit ain't happy, girl, no. Uh, Charlamagne got in on his ass and called him DJ Entry. I'm over here screaming. Now, of course, you know, my social justice warrior has to come the fuck out and talk about the obvious. Um, I'm not sure why it's bigger news that DJ Envy may like to have, you know, some type of anal play versus the fact that his ass is over here cheating on his wife again. I'm not understanding why you guys correlate like sexual actions with like sexual orientation just because this man may like his prostate rub it does not mean that he's gay a woman is doing the activity I don't understand I don't understand just how like how lesbians they you they may use the sex toy girl but it doesn't mean that they want your pain girl I mean I don't understand y'all gonna have to think outside the box sweetie it's 2017 at this point so that's one side of it but honestly the main thing is like I don't understand why y'all are making this shit bigger news than the fact that old bitch he might be cheating on his wife yet again I mean I feel like a lot of celebrities like this type of relationship where they're just constantly cheating on each other I'm not sure what type of peace of mind or healthiness that comes from that shit but apparently a lot of celebrities like that shit I'm not featuring it I just thought this story was hilarious because in public a lot of people like to shame people for doing things Things sexually and for liking certain types of things and shit and then in private it's it's all the same we all doing the same shit the girl just sit y'all asses down and living y'all truth okay so shit like this wouldn't have to happen all the goddamn time now this is what the Houston Texans NFL owner had to say about uh, NFL players kneeling okay protesting the fact that you know our lives are being taken from us unfairly we're over here getting shot the fuck up in the street and treated differently because we have darker skin so we're gonna go ahead and use our platforms to kneel the fuck down this is what Bob McNair had to say about it. He said, we can't have the inmates running the prison. We can't have the inmates running the motherfucker. Girl, and this is exactly the mentality that I see, that I sense every time you have truckloads and boatloads of these men, these black men walking towards these auditions and shit, and it just looks like slavery, girl. I'm sorry, I know that they're making money, I know that, which is why I'm like, this is their jobs, Adrian, you need to fucking relax. But I know that there are people with this type of mentality, with Bob McNair's fucking ment mentality in the NFL, like they just run, in, run around with Slaves, okay, and that's why Jerry Jones ass got his ass dragged by that protest one time talking about girl You're able to have these 40 million dollar slaves But you don't want to see them stand up for the people you know that they care about and, and for themselves girl This shit is uncomfortable. I don't like to share. 
don't like it. And Bob McNair says he had to go up there talking about an apology statement, girl. With, I mean, NFL colors and everything, bitch. A whole statement, bitch. There's no apology, sis, that you could post that really would take back that type of comment. That's exactly the mentality I would imagine an old white potato in the face built ass, rich ass motherfucker to have when he's overseeing black people. And you just confirmed it. So it's, I mean, you can apologize until you're blue in the face and it's not really that hard for y'all to get blue in the face. If we keeping it all the way 100, bitch, you could climb Mount Everest, sis, and I'm just not gonna buy it. And what I also should not have purchased were any type of LED screens, any type of computer screens, sis, because every time I see your ass pop up on my timeline, it's, I mean, you're giving me Mad Hatter type of tease, and I didn't really need that to be assaulting my eyes like that, okay, sweetheart? Let me tell you whole something, okay? Mueller is coming. Mueller is coming for y'all wigs. I don't know what, I know the White House is running around in frenzy right now, okay? Because apparently they got the approval from some grand jury to go after these motherfuckers and give actual charges, like girl, serve indictments, girl. And the case is sealed until Monday. I'm sure the names are gonna leak in regards to who's being charged. I don't think it's any of the big dogs. I don't think it's gonna, you know, be towards the top of the food channel. I don't think Trump or, or Pence or anybody up there is going to get this type of indictment right now. I think they're going after the small fries. I think they might be going after the little guys to see if they can get them to talk. And then if that don't work, then they're gonna start serving up from host, but I can't wait to hear about because I think on Monday we'll know who exactly is being charged. I cannot fucking wait to hear about it. We're talking about a spooky season, bitch. We're talking about Halloween. I know that the White House is over here trembling like a grin, just, just, just trembling like the Grim Reaper is coming for their ass, okay? So I don't know what to tell these baskets of deplorables out here. I don't know what y'all have to do, but you need to be bunkering down. You need to, I don't know, I know they are lawyering up. I know they are hiring all types of legal um, advice and counsel and shit like that because they're going to be shaking it. Mueller's coming after her ass. But I didn't tell y'all, I said, girl, it's going to take some months. It might, it might take a couple years for everything to go. They want to have solid ass evidence so when they make these calls, it doesn't jeopardize anything. You know what I mean? There's no loopholes and anything. They just go straight for that motherfucking neck. They go straight for the jugular and I'm ready to see this shit happen. You better open up his double chance. I mean, Trump is really sucking Russia's dick on an OnlyFans account, and he expects us to pay for it to see it, girl. No, it's okay. We intercepted y'all shit, girl. I mean, we, we got the CIA to pull the fucking digital files, girl. It's okay, girl. We cut your tea, honey. We have the evidence, girl. We have the evidence, sis, so I don't know why you're acting like, oh, nobody knows, girl. We know that you're over here grapefruit and Russia's dick. It's just grapefruit, sweetheart. Yes, you're over here grapefruit and Russia's peen. We know, girl. Stop acting like we don't see, you know, the remnants left over on your, you know, the corner of your mouth, girl. We see it. We know what you're doing, girl. We're, we're on to you, sis. And so is the, and so is the, bitch, and so is the FBI, girl. So just so fasten your seatbelts. Fasten your seatbelt. So finally, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, they collaborate. And I'm over here getting my motherfucking life because I heard Cardi B's, now my favorite verse on it is gonna be Nicki Minaj's. I will say that. But Cardi B definitely held her own. I don't care what you hoes have to say about it. I'm living for her calling herself the Trap Selena. I am getting my foot. She said, Dame my I'm, I'm here for it, okay? And it's just the power. Honestly, you could have cut out the man in that song. I don't give a fuck. We don't care about what Migos saying, bitch. Anytime Nicki Minaj featured on something or Cardi B featured on something, we fast forward to the verse. That's all. I mean, come on. I'm not the only one who does it. I'm not just, we know what the T is, bitch. When you see Nicki Minaj or Cardi B on the verse, you, on the song, you motherfucking fast forward the motherfucking verse. Yes, that's exactly what you do, girl. So we're gonna cut out the men in the song. We're gonna cut out the three musketeers, the three blind minds, whatever the fuck you wanna call them. Cut their ass out. Is there a version out there with just Cardi B and, and Nicki Minaj on it? Can I, can I listen to that? Cause that's all I'm featuring, okay? I'm extremely happy. Cardi B seems like she's here to stay. She just needs to make the right decisions. Like signing with this label, I don't know how that's gonna end up for her. That's neither here nor there. I want to talk about Cardi B getting proposed to on this motherfucking stage. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you hoes this right now. I don't know if my future, I don't know. I say I don't want to get married because that's too much legal shit. I'm not going to have a motherfucker over here buying yachts with borrowed money and affecting my motherfucking credit. You can fuck your shit up. Yeah, I mean, that's too much legal paperwork. I don't know if I'm going to get married. But let me tell you something. If my future, whatever romantic ass life partner, if you want to call that shit, if you watching, just please make sure that I'm actually into you before you go ahead and try and propose to me in front of people, okay? Okay. I 
I want you to make make 100% sure. I don't care if you have to um, hijack my best friend's phone number, get it from someplace else to see what I really think about your ass. If you're not sure, don't propose to me in front of people, especially on the motherfucking stage, because bitch, I'm gonna be over here like, okay. So and, uh, anyway, uh, back to the music. Da, 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 da. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, bitch. If I'm not into you, you propose to me in motherfucking in front of people, bitch. I'm finna be like this. Uh, DJ, bring the track back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, no, bitch. I'm finna fuck it up, bitch. I'm on stage, bitch. I'm gonna pretend like ain't shit happening, bitch. You, you better get up off your motherfucking knee hole. You better get up, girl. They gonna wonder why you still there, bitch. Uh, honey, honey. I can feel, bitch, I'm not fucking around with a bitch like that kind of man. But yeah, apparently now they're engaged. I'm happy that a cute ass relationship is happening. I'm hoping that both parties are very happy in this shit. The only reason that it concerns me is one, as I said before, I don't want her career to turn into a reality TV show. So it's just like every single time that some drama happens with her and her, and, you know, her fiance, we gonna know about it instead of focusing on her music. That was one fear. The second fear is, I don't know, for me, I think that's too soon. I think honestly that most celebrities when they get married and shit and engaged, I think it's too soon they be dating for three, four months and they be into it already. For me, that's too soon. But, I mean, do what you got to do. I don't know where the fuck this is gonna go, but, I mean, kudos to you. For me, promising your, your whole motherfucking life to someone else is a fucking big-ass deal, okay? And so it needs to, a lot of time needs to pass. I'm talking about three, four years, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you guys have different opinions on it. I would love to hear what you think about it. Do you think the shit is too soon? I personally can't even make a commitment to, you know, what the fuck I want to wear out tonight, much less taking a small amount of time to say, okay, girl, I'll commit my whole life to you. Like, girl, just tell me what y'all think about it. A lot of these hoes are pressed because they see that uh, a former stripper like Cardi B is over here getting married and they're not. They're making fun of Cardi B solely based on that fact. You know, I, my critiques were based on like real life type of shit. They're over here critiquing based off the fact that, you know, they have pets instead of men. You know, they, they walk their men, they burp their men, they feed their men, they dress their man because they can't do themselves. They wash their men's dirty motherfucking underwear and still don't have a ring. And because of that, they're mad at Cardi. I'm just like, girl, you might need to find some type of therapist to help you talk about those, those feelings, those feelings of anger that you have. Uh, don't blame it on Cardi B. There are all types of women out here doing the damn thing. Just find who you are, embrace it, and catch up, musters. I mean, that's all I got to tell you.